Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here with Cascade Chiropractic and Wellness in Portland, Oregon. I'm Maddie here. Uh, Maddie met us a long time ago after a car accident. Things got better. Today she's showing up with some stiffness from here to here. Kind of the whole back and neck. Uh, so we're going to help with mobility, things like that as well. Uh, she, the chronic headaches are back as well, so we might be checking Atlas stuff. Um, but she's also has something going on with her feet. And so we will check her feet and make sure everything's going on perfect there too. All good? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's go face down first. Okay. And I'll just kind of talk as we go. Okay, sounds good. All righty. And Maddie just got off the massage table, so muscles are already feeling fantastic. Nice and loose. But I do feel a little bit of a left-sided shift here. Nothing singular, but the whole spine is just drifting a hair. I'm just checking to see if it moves, and it's not moving fantastic. When I push on it, it doesn't move well there, and it actually doesn't move well there either. Okay, so let's fix this part first. It's always nice when people get off the massage table because half my job's done for me. I don't have to do the muscle work, get them loose. Let's just get the spine perfect. Big breath in, big breath out. There you go. And one more, big breath in, big breath out. Pull here, fold up like that. Scooch here, good. Let that shoulder roll backwards. And rock the head forward. Very nice. Scooch you like here, perfect. Pull you like that, excellent. Fold up like here. Okay, let that hip rock around. Very good. Okay, so because Maddie has the headaches back, sometimes it comes from muscles, sometimes it comes from alignment. So lower neck alignment actually feels really good. Checking for motion. And that also feels very good. So very top here is something's happening. But as I go lower, that feels very good. So that's C1. So I think we might be doing Atlas today. Yeah, that thing. Does it hurt when I push? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm touching on C1 at the right. So we'll come back to this. We have a special table for that. Let's do feet. Okay. So how are you feeling feet wise? Is it anything specific? Um, it's like, oh, just a lot of pain throughout generally. Just like, the whole foot? Yeah. Is it while you're walking or certain movements? Yeah, it's after work. A lot of the time, like I'm on my feet eight hours a day. So, okay. um, and I can feel it affecting, like it goes all the way up, the pain goes all the way up to the back of my knees. Ah. Yeah. All right. Let me check, did Lee work on your calves today? Yeah. Okay. So let me check the joints. And is it both sides? It yeah, goes all the way up? Both sides. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to start at your hips. We're going to go hips all the way down. Okay. I'm just going to see if the whole chain works well. Sometimes, well, you, and you get to experience this, is the foot can cause a knee to hurt, and the knee can cause a hip to hurt. And the other way as well. The week before last, um, when Megan worked on the back of my calves and the back of my knees, like it relieved my headache. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I know there's something going on down there. Yeah. The body is very much connected. So, this is called a speeder board. 
I'm going to use it to push into where her fibula connects to the tibia. There you go. It's a very specific motion. It's kind of hard to get any other way. And then we got a lot going on in the foot. So this is calcaneus. Very good. This is talus. Nice. A little bit of knee on that one too. Mm -hmm. A little bit of forefoot. And we're gonna get the navicular. Good. Check the toes. <laughs> my toes. <laughs> my big toe does, but my other toes don't. Wow, same thing on this side. So sometimes what happens is your fibula, this is your fibula, it's a big long bone. This bump is your fibula, and there's a bump up here that's also your fibula. It's a big long bone here. And when it's not moving here, it can affect this too. Where are we? Good. A lot of the similar adjustments here too. Good job. Four foot. Nice. Well, you had a lot of stuff going on in your feet. I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. I have sit up here with me. Let's check Atlas. Can you come around here, Alex? We'll kind of show what's happening here. So I'm going to squeeze on Maddie's Atlas. This is her skull. Drop off here on Atlas. So we're going to squeeze on both sides. So I would almost guarantee this thing is off. Can you feel that spot? Mm -hmm. So there's a, right, more. there's a pokey bump back here. Not supposed to be a pokey bump. And let's check the left. The same thing, we drop off, and there's no pokey bump on the left. Does it feel different on the left? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so hurts on the right, doesn't on the left. Let's get this thing set. So follow me this way. So this is our atlas table. This is what we're gonna use to set Maddie's atlas. It uses a percussion device here, where the force comes through this thing. This moves, this does not move. I'll show you what it looks like and how it works. It's very similar to how you play pool and break the, break the pool or these Newton balls, the middle ball isn't moving, but it's transferring the force through the middle ball. A similar sort of thing happens here. The force is transferred, but it's actually a very gentle adjustment despite how it looks. It looks scarier than it feels, but it's very precise and it gets that atlas exactly where we need it. So how, come on over here, Maddie. So you're going to land your right shoulder right here. You're going to face this way. And we are going to get the head set up just perfect. Very good. Get a little pull on the shoulder. Excellent. Let's land this one on your hip. We're going to stack your shoulders a little bit. There you go. Excellent. And then this thing's going to come right behind your ear. So the tip of her atlas is deep in there. We gotta get on the superior aspect of that atlas. So if we get this, the worst part about this whole thing is the ear squish. So there's the ear squish. 
And we're going to lower this down onto the atlas. And that's it. So have it set up here, Maddie. Very good. We're going to squeeze those spots again to see how it feels. So it's still kind of pokey on that right side. It hurts a lot less, though. Good. Let's see how it moves. Pretty good. All right. I think we got more to go. Let's do another one, okay? okay. So come on back down here. Sometimes these adjustments take two or three taps, and that's all right. Give you a little pull. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. So exactly the same. Okay, a little squish and a little extra squish. Now sit up here again. <laughs> the poke's gone. Yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's make sure the motion came back well, too. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. How are you feeling? I, I feel a lot better. My headache's totally gone. Nice. You yeah. walked in with a headache? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's, I think that's the coolest thing about Atlas stuff is you get that bone set. Magic stuff happens. It feels cool. And my feet don't hurt anymore at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry on top. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for letting us film Maddie. Yeah, thank you. We love Maddie. She's awesome. And uh, we'll see you next time.